video is brought to you by Let's Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice-oriented courses for serious music producers. Yo, Dan Larson here. Welcome to the new Synthesize Sound episode. And today I want to show you a crazy good plugin that can transform your boring drums, very undefined and sloppy drums into very crazy, defined, sharp, very heavy drums through this thing I made. This is the drums with the plugin and without the plugin. So like always, you can grab this whole project from my Patreon below and click here for my academy for awesome start to finish courses. But right now, let's jump into it. Yo, so here is a groove once again. In the previous video I told you how I made that really nice groove. Uh, click here if you want to see that. But in this video I want to show you another plugin that I found that it's really great adding some extra extra touch to your drums. Because without that, it's too noisy, the sounds are not separated well and nothing has the edge. But with that, sounds so great. And this is actually a very nice transient shaper from OX Sounds called Spiff and I so love this stuff. So Spiff basically, as I told you before, a transient shaper plugin, but you can focus on different frequencies boosting the transients on. So I really love this feature because you don't need to chop off the, the frequency into bands so you don't have the overlapping lapping frequency phase shifting effect. I think if, especially on drums and on low end stuff, it's very important. And I found this preset, the Tom Small, where we focus on the really lows and on the highs and mid highs very heavily. Also, it uh, reduces the transients on the mid frequencies. That can create a very nice, very sharp and very fat effect, especially on the kicks and on the snares. So without this, Everything sounds so freaking great. And I haven't even started boosting those transients. I had to apply a saturator after spiff, so with this we are keeping the transient, not killing it with the limiter. But also gather what it does to the sound is just crazy. So you have lots of possibilities to play around with the bands and focus on different frequencies to boost or cut the transient so I can even cut it. So I think this plugin can create very very cool stuff especially cleaning up your drums I would say because what it does is just magic to me honestly. So this is how I prepared this drum loop too and this comes with the project file if you go to my Patreon. So I apply the same stuff, the same uh, technique, use, creating the wet loop and applying spiff on the master. No separations on the drums, no sharp edges, but with spiff. I just so love it. And originally the loop sounded like this. So with some smart processing and a tambourine loop. Come on, it sounds like if these drums were synthesized, everything is so punchy and powerful, but it's not. It's just crazy good processing and crazy good plugins, especially with Sooth2 and Spiff. So I highly recommend this plugin for you guys, Sooth2 and Spiff. They are just crazy. Okay, so like always, you can grab this whole project from my Patreon below and click here for my academy for awesome start to finish courses. And see you guys next time. Peace.